Hello, Brother Monroe here again with some more of the World War II Battleship League Division 1 and it's Bismarck again, but this time she is taking on uh, the the Treaty Fudge, the USS Drakenifal, um, the what is supposed to represent a North Carolina or a South Dakota class ship. Let's just get straight into it. Uh, and I'll start off by playing as Bismarck, uh, as I did in the last round. Although, it's a little bit of an awkward starting position they've got us at. American ship. Enormous hit. 3,000 damage. I mean, this mark does get a main deck pen in return, but hot diggity daffodil. That, that, that's, that's a lot of damage. Ooh, 1,800. <laughs> it's what those super heavy um, triple bay shells will do. My goodness, Bismarck rolling over. Rolling over and probably just going to sink. Can't fire. Uh, I can maybe try and get pointed forwards so that the guns can actually work. Throw off their targeting a bit, but... Bouncing a few. There we go. Do you get a hit? Pretty good damage, actually. Nope. <laughs> this mark's done. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? On Earth, okay. Uh, no, let's uh, let's swap <laughs> to the uh, Americans. Let's go in with the Treaty Fudge and uh, ourselves, and see what happens. <laughs> right, where is she? We're away. Running away. Interesting. Probably wise, given what just happened. Ran she comes.
Sorry about that. I was momentarily uh, AFK. I think with this ship, just get all the guns firing. See if we can get another one of those huge hits. Oh, Bismarck. Ooh, what happened there? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Sorry about that. I don't know why it suddenly went onto the desktop. I did not press anything. Windows doing Windows things. Yeah, they're coming at us now. Need a few good hits. spectacular like we saw previously but still pretty good Ooh, a couple of overpins Oh, there we go. <laughs> Double decent hits. I'm going to try and edge Bismarck. I don't want to close into brawling range. I can help it. Oh, that was a good hit. Right through the main belt. Very nice. seeing those huge numbers like I did um, when uh, the AI was playing um, the Treaty Fudge here. Makes me suspicious. Does the AI get a damage boost? Because Bismarck's doing more damage back as well. There's something weird going on here. Why are you only firing the rear gun? You are, you're only firing one gun, right? This is the secondaries getting in the way. Well known error. What is this? <laughs> is the AI just programmed to win? Like, what is going on? Like, what the hell? Now, now I can't fight because the angle. There is something weird going on here. There is something very weird going on here. I love doing this series, but when you can't really trust that the game is being fair, then it kind of loses its ability to be a good tool. So I hope I'm just imagining things. I am definitely seeing Bismarck benefiting from, like, uh, in that salvo just there, there was a blocked from a 16-inch gun at point-blank range. Like, that should not be happening. I think Bismarck is, is benefiting from that turtleback 
bug that I have reported enormous numbers of times. Uh, right, I'm going to call this round, and I'm just going to... Um, I'm actually going to swap... Hello, Millie. I'm actually going to swap over, and I just want to... See... What happens if I swap back? What are you doing, Millie? And put Bismarck on AI control. I just want to have a look. It could just be that I suck, which is, is entirely possible. I mean, I've only got like 600 hours or something in uh, the Steam version of this and probably another 600 in the Zola version. I mean, what do I know? But <laughs> something, feels, something feels not right. Now the tree fudge can't hit. Ammo debt. <laughs> Must have been on the on the secondary weapons. I'm just not seeing the enormous damage numbers like I did in in the first battle. What is going on? Oh, this one getting a massive head in, 1,200 and a 400, but yeah. North South Carolina Dakota um, hitting back pretty well. Yeah, what what, are these, what is with these numbers? It's like if I'm playing the ship, it gets crap numbers, and if the AI is playing the ship, it gets amazing numbers. So weird, but not consistent. Hmm. Anyway, fun. Uh, very unexpected, this whole thing. Oh, that's my dog. Uh, I'm going to pause it here. Welcome back. Sorry, that was the uh, arch nemesis of Millie the dog, the postman. See there? See that double blocked? Um, that that is uh, turtle back being broken. Forty-six eighty-five plays fifty-four fifty-eight. Interesting. Structure damage isn't as bad 
uh, as flooding damage. Flooding damage can mean that, like, as Bismarck has the problem now, she can't fire because she's just rolling over. Whereas the Tricky Fudge can still fire because she's not rolling over. Flooding for this month to worry about. So we've got the main four compartments here fine. Fudge lost all of her 1.6 ammo somehow. Millie, do you have to? Stop it. She's trying to get a toy out of her box. The loudest thing she could possibly do. like this heart is on our last legs but interesting very interesting oh come on that flooding's got to finish her off yeah down she goes two points go to the North Carolina and the South Dakota I'm going to retry the battle um, and we're just going to combine the video because it's going to be very similar. I'm going to swap in Iowa instead of the tree fudge um, because we should get a very similar result you would think. <laughs> in fact Iowa should do slightly better the same, if not better. Visually, the ships are almost identical. I was swinging around. This is Bismarck. Iowa has slightly longer guns and slightly thicker armor. The main deck hits. This might get actually just gets the first proper hit in. <laughs> Interesting.
Whoa, that's a lot of damage going in. I was struggling a little bit with uh, accuracy, which is weird. That's taking a little bit more damage. Very close, kind of close quarters fight. Flooding hits. Joe sure what tends to do Bismarck in. isn't firing her mains. She might be running into the problem I was talking about where secondaries interfere, but no, she just got the turtle back partial pin blocks bollocks. That's that's what the problem is. I swear if I switch Bismarck from T Turtle Back is just it is a little bit broken. It's probably it's why you don't see me using it in the campaign. Um because you you can build an absolute nonsense meme ships. Oh, this is in 109, by the way. I'm not talking about 110, although um, I'm assuming it's pretty similar in 110. Despite my complaints, I don't think it's been fixed. Extending the range from each other. Keep forgetting I'm actually controlling this part. Getting some good hits on Iowa though. Not gone down yet. Now, now we're getting the Bismarck starting to uh, roll over problem. Too much flooding for her to handle. Can't fire out either side, so basically have to be facing directly forward, directly oh, that, aft actually. No aft. Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> like, what is that? Clink, clunk, clonk. There's nine shells. Nothing. Because I'm rolled over. So they're hitting the deck. No. This mark goes down. Right. Let's see if uh, Iowa can get the win. Oops. In reverse. Right. Where are you? Let's go. as much running in this division, which is nice, or at least not so far. Let's head steady course. Just a partial pin. But that was the first hit. A couple of overpins. This might return with a partial. Overpin. Damage runner. is very quickly fixed, but still fairly typical for uh, Bismarck to have that problem. Oh, nice. Couple more big overpens. Lovely. That was a big hit, that 900 damage. Half deck pen. One quick six inch guns entering the mix. I don't think they're going to do very much. A couple of big hits, though. On Iowa. Getting a bit too close, I think. Ammo get on something. Probably one the uh, 1.6 inch guns. getting kill shots here. I really should. This is 56% chance to pen. That basically means anywhere except the main deck. But it will then serve me up just constant deck hits. It's infuriating. Trying to get away a bit. 
there we go. Get a quadruplet of hits. But, yeah, not much flooding. What is this? <laughs> what is this division? Makes no sense to me. It's almost like the AI is just getting a, a buff, and it doesn't matter which ship I'm playing. Oh, dearie me. Maybe it's just I suck. <laughs> well, let's put that to the test, shall we? Um, in the in almost inevitable AI decider. Um, I'll stick with Iowa. Uh, and let the AI controller. Like how how is it blocking anything? Like those three blocks, that should not happen. And I'm convinced that it is. There's an overflow. Um, the game goes. Oh, your penetration is too high, and or it's hitting the deck even at very close range. At a very extreme angle, and the game goes, oh, well, that's not going to do anything. When, you know, the reality is if you hit the deck of a ship at an extreme angle at close range, the shell is just going to skip straight into the superstructure <laughs> and, and blow it up. So, yes, yeah, so I'm going to retry. Stick with Iowa. And let's see what happens. I'm just going to leave it. Just gonna let it do its thing. <laughs> We've not seen this mark get long range hits in the whole even it, not not just against Iowa but against anybody and this time it's like no 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 okay I, and I know it is luck based it is random that's why I do the three rounds to try and eliminate that it just feels like there's some weird stuff going on let me know in the comments what do you think what do you think is going on here uh, do I just suck uh, is the AI just giving a boost to whatever ship is on its side? Because uh, I don't, I don't mean like putting it on AI control. I mean red, red four. <laughs> um, is it a problem to do with the turtle back or the penetration mechanic? Like, what's going on here? And I think this will be just be a problem with Bismarck in general. We kind of saw it in Division 2 as well, where Bismarck was a lot better than she should be. Um, like, I, I could not do this kind of damage <laughs> with her. No way. Since when?
Yeah, no, I was run out of a 1.6 uh, inch ammo. I think she's getting an ammo debt on one of them, and then oh, the whole all the ammo is cooking off. So I think what's going on? Still knocking lumps out of each other. I think Iowa has the angle problem. Oh, and Bismarck has the angle problem. Okay. <laughs> All goes completely quiet. They try and work out what to do. Um. Hmm. I think I'm going to call this a draw, actually. But rather than just leave it there, uh, I'm going to swap back over. And yes, I know this is a bit of me doing some experimenting on the game. Um, but we're going to rerun that tiebreaker. But this time, we're going to let Iowa be the red four ship. And Bismarck is going to be the... Actually, I don't know what color this is. Is this supposed to be green? I think it's supposed to be green. Um... I'm colorblind. I cannot tell the difference between green and yellow very easily when it's this kind of, assuming it is green, um, this kind of bright green on a computer screen. I I cannot tell the difference. Um, this could easily be yellow, and I would have no idea. Let's just see. Let's just see what happens. Wow. Ten destroyed a turret. Um yeah, it's the first time we've seen a shell take out one of Bismarck's turrets. Uh this whole division. I'm not even sure it happened in Division 2 either. See what I mean? See what I mean? It's enemy ships getting secretly good rolls. <laughs> Is there a little bit of trickery in the randomization? Like another hit on the, the gun. Will severely degrade uh, Bismarck's firepower. hits on Iowa. No flooding hits on Bismarck. Which tends to be the deciding factor. But yeah, she did lose that turret. Oh, there we go. Some big hits. A little bit of flooding.
nice. Loving hits. Bismarck can't fire at all now. Flooding, probably do her in. goes. I'm going to say that's two points for Iowa. Uh, and none for Bismarck. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you again soon for some more Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Bye for now.